What up, dudes? My name is Ben, or Heart Shenanigans, and boy, has it been an interesting last couple days. Uh, if you guys didn't know, um, I told you guys in my last commentary, I was moving in this past weekend. I think I moved in, what was it, Saturday? And uh, obviously, we, you know, went out Saturday night. Everybody does their, you know, celebrating, you know, got back to school, whatnot. And um, it's been uh, fairly interesting since then, to say the least. I had my first day of classes yesterday and then I had um, two classes today I had one at 10 and one at six or well I'm going to have one at six uh, I'm recording this at like four o'clock eastern time so uh, the gameplay uh, I'll talk about the gameplay real quick sorry packing a dip as usual ah uh, gameplay all right so this is probably one of my best gameplays um there's it's either this or the uh, the double moab um uh, what was it? Double Moab with like 12 captures or something like that on lockdown. Uh, it was like an 80 something kill game. Um, that, uh, there's, there's a couple other ones. There's a 96 kill specialist. I think this definitely tops that. Um, and that was in solo 6v6 without a team, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is a 100 plus specialist on dome playing solo. Uh, I believe it's actually on the mercenary playlist. I was playing by myself. And, uh, obviously it's 6v6, and I drop, um, just one Moab, but, uh, there's plenty of other streaks that I go on that, um, I should have had, I should have had a fucking triple Moab this game. Um, but I didn't even get the double, so I can't really call it a triple fail, right? Um, so I'd call it a double fail. Uh, I get a solid amount of kill streaks, and then I end up, uh, dying, sorry, excuse me. So, that's what the gameplay is. As far as tips for playing Dome, I did a uh, Moab Breakdown series. Um, or, I do a Moab Breakdown series where my, my last map I actually did was Dome. So, I can link that video um, in the description. You guys can go check that out. I talk about, um, you know, I, I take a regular vanilla Moab uh, that I got on Dome. And I break it down. Why I did what I did. How I did it. And, um, those are kind of, th that's like my instructional series. Um, and... The reason I'm saying this is because uh, I did get a uh, solid amount of subscribers in the last couple days from like when I wasn't posting videos. So I wanted to let those guys know what was going on and, and kind of my, my commentary style when it comes to my actual gameplays. Um, it's just fairly laid back. I'm just kind of shooting the shit with you guys and may tell some stories sometimes, you know. So, oh, there's the first Moab. Um, I did want to point that out. I was just sitting there for, like, they just literally kept pouring out of the dome when they had two flags. Sometimes I really, like, and it's been lately, I haven't been, like, understanding the spawns very well. I've been getting some pretty crazy spawns. I don't know if they did a hot fix where um, they changed some of the spawns, but um, there are some pretty weird spawns lately that have been fairly frustrating. Um... Okay, what do I want to talk about? Uh, I wanted to talk about kind of first day of classes, how things went. And my class schedule, I'm taking five classes. I have to take five classes because um, when I was uh, a freshman, I was a bio major. And uh, the bio major at my school was extremely difficult. And uh, I didn't pass the, well, I would have passed it, but I chose to withdraw from the class because it was too difficult. And, uh, well, not too difficult. I just didn't like it. I just didn't enjoy it. Sorry, spitting again. Um, but uh, now I'm b behind on credits, so I have to take um, multiple or extra classes so I can get uh, so I can graduate on time. If you guys didn't know, I graduate this next spring. I graduate from college, so it's gonna be interesting. And I turn 21 in uh, October 22nd is my birthday, so about eight weeks, something like that. So you know it. This year is a, is a big year. <laughs> um, but I did want to talk about, you know, my, my class schedule. So <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? So I start off at like 920 and I take this class called Movement. Um, I don't know, I forget what the number is. Um, but it's like our art credit. We have to have an art credit to uh, graduate. And everybody normally waits till like the end of their senior year to take their art credit because of this movement class, right? And uh, it actually, what it is, is the study of movement and in the past, it's always been a joke because uh, the teacher didn't really take it very seriously, and it was basically just a stretching class. Um, but now, as time has gone on, they've had a couple different instructors, and now there's a new one this year. And um, I don't really know how to put this because I don't know if he's gay or not, but uh, he is 
a very, very feminine Filipino man. Uh, he's a little husky. Um, he's got fucking monster calves, though. His calves are fucking huge. Um, but he's very into dancing. And uh, so I think I signed myself up for a dance class. So <laughs> that should be fairly interesting. Uh, the first day of class was funny because uh, I am in it with a bunch of my friends. And uh, it was just... <laughs> It was very interesting to say the least. Uh, we were we had to do all these like, you know, direct and indirect and soft and hard movements, and then he's like making faces that make him look like a fucking you know Planet of the Apes crazy ass gorilla fucking thing. I don't know. It was weird. But so that's my first class on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then uh, I have after that at ten forty right afterwards. I have a. Uh, a microeconomics class, which you guys are probably like, if you guys know, um, if any of you are in college, you know that uh, micro is normally a class you take when you're a sophomore, um, if you're like an econ major, but I'm a public policy major. So um, the requirements for public policy is that you have to take either one of the two, micro or macro. And I ended up taking macro sophomore year, um, and I never took micro. And uh, it turns out now that I've taken enough upper level econ classes that uh, my uh, minor for economics, all I need to take is micro. And I kind of have, you know, this freedom of schedule where I can just take whatever I want. All I need is the credits. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take micro and get the uh, the econ minor because I already have a poli sci minor and a sociology minor. So I have a, I have a public policy major with a... <laughs> um, Econ, poli sci, and uh, sociology triple minor, which you don't hear very often. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of interesting. And then uh, my third class on Monday, Wednesday, Friday is Philosophy 101, <laughs> which is the easiest fucking class in the world. So I have a pretty um, cake schedule on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. My Tuesday, Thursday is a little more difficult. I have a um, upper level sociology class called Sociology of Race and Gender. Um, but the teacher is fairly easy, so um, it should be a, you know, we'll see. I hope it's not a difficult class. And then uh, tonight I have my, my hardest class, which is my 400-level um, studies in public policy class, which is, is like my uh, my senior seminar that I need to take to graduate. And um, that class is actually with my advisor. So, um that's just kind of my schedule right now. I don't have lacrosse right now. I actually don't start lacrosse. If you guys didn't know, I am a uh, an NCAA college athlete. Uh, <laughs> I play college lacrosse, Division III. Um, so, and we have fall ball. That has, doesn't start, though, till uh, I think September 27th. We had a meeting last night. Get this. We had a meeting at 930 at night last night. So, guess what me and my friends do? We go... Uh, we're like, you know what? Um, at the local bar on Monday nights, there's this thing called Pizza and Pitcher where it's $7 for a uh, really, really shitty pizza and a pitcher of beer. So we went to that before the meeting, got really drunk, and then we went to the meeting and we're just fucking rambunctious. And uh, uh, My coach doesn't like me as is. I don't really know why. Um, he plays favorites a lot. So, um, What was I saying? Fuck. Uh, so we went there, we got really drunk. And then we uh, we went to the meeting, and then we went back to the bar afterwards um, till like one in the morning, and uh, it was <laughs> it was an interesting night to say the least. Uh, oh god, Chad Lost Hour is sending me fucking <sighs> Chad. You never fail to fucking interrupt a commentary. I swear you never fail to do it. You you don't even know I'm recording a commentary right now, and you send me a Skype message and say post a vid. I swear. It, I hope the comment section is just filled with fuck lost. And if it, nobody really knows what fuck lost is, um, lost is one of the my subs friends that I play with a lot, and uh, he always seems to be able to interrupt the commentary, whether his voice is in the background or because uh, I have my preferences on playthrough both for trolling purposes and rage cam purposes. Um, but yeah, everybody says fuck lost. So yeah, fuck lost. <laughs> Um, oh, the gameplay is almost over. Well, I did want to welcome all you guys who have uh, newly subscribed. Uh, if you want to play with me, all you have to do is send me a message, and uh, I'll keep it in my inbox or send me a friend request or whatever, and I'll invite you if we ever have room. 
that's just kind of my policy I hold, and I never make anybody run support for me. But yeah, that's the uh, end of the gameplay. The final score is 105 and 14, playing solo 6v6 um, with a Moab. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, ratings are very much appreciated, and I will uh, talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, if you guys missed my last video, it was a uh, it was a couple shotgun Moabs and a uh, pretty fast MP7 Moab, and I uh, kind of strung them all together, did a commentary. Uh, I told some pretty funny stories in that uh, about a certain someone named the Bleeder now. And then uh, the other video you'll have on the screen is my 500 sub setup video where I go over my setup at home. Obviously, I'm at school now, so I'm going to do another one um, at some point. So guys should expect to see that, but, um, you can click those annotations to go see those videos and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.